I'm Tim Marshall for R&B Showcase Live. This is part of the annual tribute to Dennis Edwards, the former lead singer of The Temptations, and of course, a great solo artist at Motown at hits such as Don't Look Any Further and Cool and Out and um, all the classic hits with The Temptations, including the very first Grammy Award for Motown Records. Not just The Temptations, but Motown Records talking about Cloud Nine. I am joined today by my co-host, here live in the studio, Mr. Kevin White, music historian. Hello, how you doing? Mr. Julian Seward. Yes, sir. And of course, Mr. Kyle Mack. Hey, what's up? Always good to have you all with us here today. We're in the studio, we're reminiscing, we're bringing back memories, and we're talking about the legacy of Mr. Dennis Edwards. And of course, this was his first, uh, one of his first solo albums. I understand he recorded an album before this one. That was in the vaults, Kevin? Correct. That would have been around 77, I believe. That, okay. And he recorded an album, but it never actually saw the light of day. Mm -hmm. Be interested to hear it <laughs> at this point. I, and this that was his uh, first uh, time First time he left The Temptations Correct. in 77, where he was Correct. replaced by Lewis Price in the group. And then he came back to the group in around 1980 for the song Power, mm -hmm. which was written by Mr. Barry Gordy himself. And then uh, he went again solo right after Motown 25, I believe that was. Yeah, he right after solo, the Back know. to Basics album. Right, back had Motown 25, Back to Basics, and then Dennis went solo again in 1983 and put out this album, Don't Look Any Further. And actually, it must have been interesting to have this album on the charts at the same time that they had uh, the Temptations Truly For You album on the charts with Treated Like a Lady. So both entities uh, had hits at the same time. That must have been a great thing. But we're here to talk about Dennis and share some memories of Dennis Edwards uh, of Lest the we forget, Tim, that he did come back once again after that. Yes, yes. In what, 1988? 88 after, yeah. for, um, for the album Together Again. Together Again together came together again out. Together album. Yeah. You know? yes. So this was a time when it was, uh, you know, Dennis Edwards. And then when he left the group first time, he was replaced by Lewis Price. Lewis Price. And then he left again. Ollie Woodson Ollie came Woodson, in. Right. Dennis Edwards came back. And then Ollie Woodson came back. So it was like a back and forth thing. People were like, what is going on? Because I remember going to the concerts and you go on and expect to see Dennis and then Ollie comes out and like, well, who is this? And of course, Ollie was, you know, an awesome singer as well. And then Dennis comes back. You're going to see, expect to see Ollie. And then Dennis comes out on the stage and then vice versa. But that was an interesting period in history for the Temptations. But, you know, for me personally, and I talk about this, this all the time, you know, I had the opportunity to interview Dennis Edwards when I was writing for the R&B Showcase Magazine. I think it was one of the casinos in, uh, might have been, must have been Atlantic City Casinos and went mm -hmm. backstage and got a chance to spend, you know, some quality time with Dennis Edwards as well as uh, David C. and Mike Patillo and Chris Arnold and Bernard Gibson was in the group at the time, his Temptations Review. And uh, it was quite an honor for me to have a chance to interview somebody who, you know, is an artist that we had looked up to, the Temptations. I remember watching them on the Flip Wilson show mm -hmm. and all those television shows. And uh, of course, it's uh, one of my favorite groups and uh, Dennis Evers being one of my favorite singers. Why don't you guys uh, share your, you know, memories of Dennis Evers? Let's start with you, Kevin White, because you got a chance to see Dennis back in the heyday when he first got into the group. So Correct. tell us about that experience. Correct. No, Dennis. it was it was amazing. And for me, you know, I was very young at the time, so I don't think I got wrapped up into that whole David Dennis feud thing. I just kind of watched him for his artistry, mm -hmm. and I was like, this guy is amazing mm -hmm. and to me he has always been the more dominant lead singer of the temptations because again i was young when he joined mm -hmm. and like my favorite temptation songs tend to be the ones from the era when he led mm -hmm. so songs like ball of confusion mm -hmm. take a look around mm -hmm. um superstar things like that those are the songs that really resonate with me mm -hmm. and um so i would say that of the Temptation lead vocalist, he's the one that, you know, stands out the most for me of those big three. When they talk mm -hmm. about the Temptations, mm -hmm. big three lead mm -hmm. vocalist, mm -hmm. Dennis is my guy. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I feel the same. David, Eddie and, and Dennis you're talking about. No, I was talking more of David, Dennis, well, Dennis and, and, and Ollie. Ollie Woodson. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. And they kind of look at those as like the big three the, 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 Temptations mm -hmm. leads. Dominant leads. Right. Mm -hmm. And I would mm -hmm. say of those three, Dennis is the one that always resonates mm -hmm. the most with me. Absolutely. Well, I have to say the same thing because, you know, that was the era I grew up with. I grew up with that exactly. Vic Wilson show era. Exactly. And, and, and the Papa Was a Rolling Stone was the very first uh, record that I bought. I still got the 45 with the chip taken out. I still got that original <laughs> 45 
of uh, of the temptations, you know, led by Dennis Edwards for Papa was a Rolling Stone. That was the time that uh, Dennis Edwards and Damon Harris, Richard Street, right. Otis Williams and Melvin Franklin line up. So it's interesting as as a young person growing up, we knew about, you know, the temptations. I didn't even know David Ruffin was in the temptations. Oh. We kind of we grew up. I grew up with Dennis. Well, I had been know? a temptation mm-hmm. fan. Mm-hmm. So I knew about David Ruffin, mm-hmm. obviously. And I had the records. I think mm-hmm. my first record I ever bought was actually All I Need, mm-hmm. which is a David Ruffin lead Mm -hmm. and you know i was very concerned when david left because it came at a time when you know people didn't leave groups and groups continued (laughs) you know usually Mm -hmm. a person left and Mm -hmm. and that was all she wrote Mm -hmm. and then to have this gentleman come in and Mm -hmm. actually take them to even further heights Mm -hmm. uh was just like an awesome thing Mm -hmm. yeah you guys uh you guys um like what had that luxury of being aware of, of Dennis Edwards when he was actively in the group. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm 31 now. Uh, he had been out of the group for years uh, before I even really mm-hmm. was conscious of who the temptations were. I realized that he joined the group after you, you, Tim and Kevin, you had just graduated college at that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, you guys didn't get the joke. Okay. My bad. I got you. I got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh at it. Though. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So, um, but I think for me, like, it is amazing. There's so much great material that exists of Dennis Edwards. How hard it must have been for him to come after David Ruffin. And I think his first recorded uh, material was the Live at the Copa album because they were promoting mm-hmm. the Wish It Would Rain album mm-hmm. heavy. Mm-hmm. So I think that that concert was right after the release of Wish It Would Rain. Mm-hmm. Um, but see. But he... Uh, what, what's that, Kevin? No, on that note, I recently was watching um, a clip from TCB, mm-hmm. which was right after he joined when that was recorded. Mm-hmm. And they're singing Losing You, which mm-hmm. was, I guess, their, at that point, mm-hmm. um, most contemporary song. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, I mean, his performance mm-hmm. of Losing mm-hmm. You... Mm-hmm. The studio version just cannot hold mm-hmm. the candle right. to mm-hmm. what David did with, I mean, what Dennis did to mm-hmm. what was mm-hmm. a song originally led by mm-hmm. David. Mm-hmm. Um, but that, that's yeah. my that's my point. It's like if you listen to that or you mm-hmm. listen to his performances of these songs from Wish It Would Rain on the Live at the Copa mm-hmm. album, uh, that guy came in, Dennis mm-hmm. came in, mm-hmm. guns blazing. Mm-hmm. An incredible talent. Mm-hmm. And it, 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 you would you would listen to him, and if you weren't aware sometimes of who David was, you'd be like mm-hmm. out of sight, out of mind, because mm-hmm. Dennis was mm-hmm. that great of a talent. Mm-hmm. And as big as David Ruffin was, because you know he was one of the greatest singers mm-hmm. of, of all time at yeah. even that point, you know, in, in his career. But you had to be a strong singer to come behind David Ruffin, the great David Ruffin. You know, my girl, ain't too proud to beg. I know I'm losing you. And as you mentioned, Dennis put his own flavor to those songs. He tore that song up on TCB. I oh tell you, he, my He tore gosh. that song up, okay? Powerful singer. You know, he had that loud, aggressive style, but he also could sing great ballads, like, you know, A Song for You and Memories and, and so many other great, you know, Since I Lost You from the Puzzle People album. And uh, 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 Kyle, I uh, wish you had your shirt on here today. Oh, I have it. You, you Kevin, get, throw me yeah, my shirt. Give, give Kyle that shirt. Kyle has that shirt. Which, which album? Give it, to me. give it to me. Yeah. Put this that is- this you, is you the, gotta uh, put that shirt on, Kyle. I don't know if I can put it on over my hoodie, but I have it here. <laughs> it's my psychedelic shack yeah, shirt. Yeah, that, yeah, this is great. You know, I've never seen that. Where'd you get that, Kyle? Uh, actually, there was a company on eBay that mm. was uh, that made this, and I was like, wow. So they they took the shirt, took the the wooded uh, surrounding area of the of the psychedelic house, and then covered the entire shirt with mm-hmm. the wooded area. Mm-hmm. It's pretty neat. I wonder if Otis has got a shirt like that. You got to get Otis one. I'm, I'm going to wear this to a concert yeah. one day he and see what Otis that. says. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's fantastic, man. So, yeah, yeah it's such great memories. And like I said, great singer. You know, he could sing a ballad just as good as he could sing those up-tempo, high-powered things. Um, when he did the, the album, Don't Look Any Further, he had a chance to to do some songs. And one of the things I remember Dennis saying, especially in an interview, you know, doing this album gave him a chance to sing some songs for the ladies because everybody knew him for that loud, aggressive driving sound but he got a chance to do songs on here uh such as you know uh, another place in time which aphrodisiac is a ballad aphrodisiac and uh, just like you which is was a great um, you know radio friendly song and especially in the philadelphia area so he did some really great ballads on this album plus don't look any further it was a monster hit i don't think don't, people don't understand how many times that song don't look any further has been sampled if you look <laughs> that up you see it was thousands of times artists a covered 
or sampled either the song, the hook, or Dennis Edwards' voice. Very influential a sound of Dennis Edwards. And of course, the video. So, it's, Julian, want to add anything to yeah, and conversation, you young that, man? Because I was mm-hmm. just thinking about him literally the mm-hmm. other day because mm-hmm. imitation really is the highest form of flattery. And not only the temptations keep constantly coming back in different reiterations over time, you know, with the movie and just mm-hmm. through generations, but that song and that video is so iconic <laughs> that this younger generation, like there's a guy who's on uh, TikTok that I see every so often. He does all the dance moves from the uh, from the uh, Temptations movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then there's another guy who does that video specifically. Mm-hmm. And it says a lot about the respect that you have for him. You can tell that this mm-hmm. is not joking this, mm-hmm. or at least not mm-hmm. being disrespectful. Sure. It's definitely mm-hmm. something that's expressing the power of uh, Dennis mm-hmm. Edwards and Temptations, the legacy mm-hmm. that they left. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like I told you before, we had that conversation. Memories was the song that I listened to mm. above just regular hits. You know, mm-hmm. um, someone my age, you know, we definitely mm-hmm. understand and put Temptations on a pedestal. But mm-hmm. Memories was a song that, you know, my mother uh, shared with me. It was a song that I really understood the Temptations from a different level than just a major hit. So mm-hmm. and he sang lead on that. That was on a song for you album. Was right. that ever released as a single, Kevin? Do you remember? Not as far as I know. Okay. It was just one of those songs that album you know, track, you know, became yeah. very popular on its own. But I don't believe it was a single. And a song for you was that that wasn't a single either. That wasn't was that was not a single. Two no. of the great and neither was Firefly. Was Firefly a single? Firefly was not a single, I don't think. Think of how good how good that album was, yeah. you know? Because yeah, I think Happy People was a single. Happy Shaky People, Ground. Shaky Ground and Glass House, Glass I House believe, were, were the, were the singles. singles. But those ballads on that album were fantastic. Yeah, that is that has got to be one of the top ten temptation albums, a song for you got to be you know uh, one of the best albums they put out with that lineup you right. know with the pop i always call it the the papa lineup um but you also got uh, ronnie mack joining us here today and he's going to say a few words about uh the late great mr dennis Edwards, ronnie mack dennis he's one of the great ones you know um you know everybody they talk about a lot of people man with all of this uh people have problems in their personal lives mm-hmm. okay everybody got problems mm-hmm. in their personal life but when you can keep on doing what you do and show it, like Dennis and David and a lot of the other ones, man, you know, we all got mm-hmm. things, mm-hmm. demons that we go through. But these guys came through, man. He just, see, Dennis, I call it the gravel pit. Mm-hmm. David, Dennis, Ali, mm-hmm. Theo people, mm-hmm. uh, Teddy Pendergrass, these people got that gravel pit. Mm-hmm. Some of them have more than others, mm-hmm. but I call that the signature voice. Mm-hmm. When you got a signature voice like that, man, mm-hmm. you got a hit record. If you got, you can have a meteorical song and they'll make it a hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They got that tone in their voice. Mm-hmm. I, I work with some guys and some people, they want to always do all these runs. You, the, the melody is mm-hmm. da 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 but they want, uh, mm-hmm. I said, you don't understand, you got magic in your throat. Mm-hmm. If you say three blind mice, you sound fantastic there. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to prove all that stuff. Mm-hmm. That's right. But, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. that's, that, that's the producer talking. Thank you, Ronnie Mack. I appreciate your import, Ronnie Mack, from the Four Tops. Give Ronnie Mack a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ronnie, for sharing that history. Oh, Mr. Dennis Evers, we appreciate you. And fellas, you know, just to kind of wrap up a little bit on, on this, um, you know, um, we're going to just keep this legacy of Dennis Evers alive, you know, and when the Temptations perform, you know, they they still do his songs mm-hmm. in concert. The songs that he led on is still very much a part of uh, the Temptations show and uh, the, the Temptations review. We're doing, you know, their part to keep the legacy of, of Dennis Evers active out there. And I want to send a shout out to all the fellas, Mr. David C., Chris Arnold, Bernard Gibson and um, Mike Patillo. And the rest of the Temptations review, and uh, wish them much more continued success of what they do. Alec Braven, want to thank you uh, for what you're doing to help keep the legacy of Dennis Edwards alive. And uh, it's we want to thank you for letting us be a part of this annual tribute to the late great Mr. Dennis Edwards. Want to say a few parting words about Dennis, uh, Mr. Kevin? No, just other than the fact that um, a legend, um, mm-hmm. uh, awesome talent, uh, missed. And um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course, um, Julian, you know, like you said, you grew up with this music, so his sound has to resonate, you know, especially among your family. It mm-hmm. can't, you mm-hmm. know, it, um, it's something that just is, you mm-hmm. know, the legacy of temptations just is in the culture within my family, you know, mm-hmm. across the board. So continue mm-hmm. rest in power, continue rest in peace. Mm-hmm. And of course, Kyle, you know, your album was shaky ground, right? Right. Yeah. Was De- Dennis Edwards was a huge influence on me mm-hmm. growing up. And uh, mm-hmm. when I recorded my EP mm-hmm. uh, years ago with, mm-hmm. uh, with Otis and the, the temptations of 2017, mm-hmm. uh, it was very important to me to, to, you know, 
at least you can never come close to a Dennis Edwards lead, but you can, mm. you can honor, uh, the, uh, you can honor his talent, uh, mm. hopefully by, mm. you know, you show showcasing your love for wanting to do something like mm. that. So I'm very happy, happy that Otis gave me the opportunity to mm. record a Dennis led song and, and shake your ground. Kyle's very modest. The name of the album is called Dr. Otis Williams presents Kyle Mack. Shaky Ground, the title track was a Dennis Edwards lead. So, Kyle, we thank you for your, you know, your support, your input, and thank you for recording that song, man. That means a lot to us to know it, that you're helping to keep that sound. It's one out of there. my favorites. It's yeah. one of my absolute favorite mm-hmm. songs. It's one of the funkiest Temptation mm-hmm. songs that ever existed. Mm-hmm. And you know, I like I like funk music so much. Mm-hmm. I like to sing it. So to be able to do it, uh, it was was a real joy and pleasure and honor for me. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. And of course, the funk doctor himself ah. is Kevin White. You know, <laughs> oh, and and that song for you album, that first side yeah. is one of my favorites and happy people is just one of my mm-hmm. favorite recordings of all time you know i like side two too with the I, memories I know you do. a song for you firefly you with do. our other good friend mr richard street yes and, uh, you know yes. god rest his soul too richard street was another good friend of the show and richard was on the show about 15 times i think you know on the r&b showcase radio show he used to call him and myself and larry cotton were hosting at the time so all the temptations man what a great group i'm so glad that we have this music this motown sound uh, to be the soundtrack of our lives. And again, we want to thank everyone. Thank you, Kevin, Julian, Kyle Mack, and I'm Tim Marshall. And thank you for joining us for this edition, this special edition tribute to Dennis Edwards on the R&B Showcase.